Hi, my name is Bob Marsh with ePrize, and I'm going to talk to you about how to ignite your sales machine with Salesforce gamification. We'll walk through a little bit of background on ePrize and how we have been motivating consumer behavior using contests and promotions, and how we are now applies, applying those principles inside of a sales organization and specifically inside of Salesforce.com. ePrize has been around for over 12 years. We've managed over 7,000 campaigns across 44 different countries for the world's very largest brands. Companies like Coca-Cola, AT&T, and The Gap come to ePrize to motivate consumer behavior using contests, rewards, gamification, and incentives uh, using the web, mobile devices, and social channels. We're headquartered in Detroit, Michigan. We've got 300, over 350 people across six different offices uh, within the United States. These are some of the brands that we've worked with. You've likely interacted with an ePrize promotion, whether it be a codes under bottle caps of Coke products that you take online and enter in for points that uh, re you can redeem for rewards, or a photo contest on Facebook, or any chance to win program on the web or on a mobile device. Uh, ePrize is behind the scenes managing all the technology, the security, uh, the data management, and the prize awarding, as well as all the legal uh, and prize fulfillment elements. In the world of uh, nationally registered uh, promotions and contests, ePrize dominates the market by a large margin. We're managing over four times more uh, contests and promotions than any other firm uh, within our category. Uh, marketers use rewards and incentives to drive many different types of behaviors, whether it be increasing response to advertising, it gets a consumer to stop and pay attention and take an action, it encourages viral marketing and word of mouth, uh, it helps a company uh, or a brand build a database to drive remarketing uh, via mobile or uh, mobile text messaging or alerts uh, or email marketing, and it also drives engagement. So it's a reason to for the consumer to stop and interact with a brand on a regular brace basis, um, using uh, competition as a motivator. These are the many different behaviors that brands come to us asking to help them drive an increase uh, in these activities from their end customers. And what we're doing is we identify these behaviors and we add on a reward element in order to motivate that happening. One of the common questions is are we driving the right behaviors and we've seen that is actually happening and here's some research to support it. Uh, when you layer an incentive on top of an activity, people are more likely to do it um, at significant margins. So companies experience over 160% lift in uh, visits to a brand website when a marketing message incorporates a chance to win as one of the calls to action. Uh, and then more importantly, after people take those actions, we see that they have deep engagement with the brand, uh, they're interested in the brand in the first place, and that the chance to win was simply the nudge that they needed to take that next step. So what ePrize is now doing is taking all of that learning in the consumer space and we're now applying it to the world of sales to motivate uh, behavior and sales activities using competition incentives right inside of Salesforce.com. The term gamification is, uh, is definitely picking up steam of late, which is very exciting. Uh, it is all about motivating behavior uh, using rewards and recognition and some fun and competition. Uh, there are seven different rules that we have identified as critical to making uh, gamification successful, um, which I will quickly walk through here. So that includes uh, entertaining, so it's an opportunity to create some competition and fun for people. Um, uh, the second thing is it's very critical to make sure that you keep things simple. It's highly tempting to have many different behaviors you're trying to reward. However, if you have more than a couple, people get confused and it turns them off. Third is uh, gamification actually is a excellent reason to keep your brand top of mind for people. And when you think about this within a sales contest, you know it's sharing regular updates on leaderboards and where people stand. Uh, the leaderboards in particular are most important. Uh, there's certainly plenty of dashboards and reports available uh, to a, within a sales organization, but reframing that as a leaderboard uh, makes it an excellent way to get people to be paying attention. Um, Fifth is to not overly depend on it. Uh, we see companies using contests and promotions throughout the year. Um, however, they focus it on at specific times or on specific behaviors that they need to be driving, uh, while also trying to encourage the, the, the normal day-to-day -day behaviors that people need to be exhibiting. Next is to make it social. So in the world of consumer marketing, this means uh, exposing on Facebook and encouraging word of mouth that way. Uh, inside of a sales organization, that means uh, in, uh, encouraging word of mouth and maybe a little trash talking using tools like Salesforce Chatter. Uh, finally is to uh, have a nice combination of virtual rewards, uh, like status symbols and where people stand, but also to incorporate real world prizes, whether they be cash incentives or gift cards or you know a night out with a significant other. So Salesforce adoption is uh, one of the critical 
critical uh, needs of building your own sales machine. And what we've seen is that there are really four phases of successful adoption of Salesforce or really any sales CRM system. And in the beginning phase, it's about initial adoption. It's just get people using the system, get them logging in, get them creating records so that be they become familiar and uh, you're really changing habits for people. So a reward program or a contest is an excellent way to provide that extra little nudge that people need to just begin using the system and begin getting comfortable. As people are starting to get comfortable, uh, you're now in a phase where you're, you're, you can be really building insights. As people start using it and logging meeting notes and entering opportunities and progressing them through, you're encouraging and coaching your team members to do that correctly. Now you're building the insights that you need. And uh, contests and rewards are, again, an excellent way to be motivating that, that activity um, as you move into phase two, which then prepares you, prepares you for phase three when you identify what the key performance indicators are, and then you can focus uh, promotional programs and contests on driving those behaviors when you need them throughout the year. Within a sales organization, this often means you know, incenting and motivating your team to um, go have more client meetings or creating a contest around who can pitch this product the most often this month or um, who can create the most sales pipeline, qualified sales pipeline this month or driving your opportunities forward uh, throughout the sales process. And then finally, maintaining and growing. So you'll always be uh, have groups of people who need additional help with adoption, whether it be uh, new employees that you're trying to train as a group, and you can create a competition within those folks. You can um, you can identify there are certain people that maybe aren't using Salesforce correctly, and you can focus uh, promotional or contest programs around them. Uh, there's always some reason that you're going to need something to drive performance throughout the year. So before we walk through some of the, the items that a, uh, a marketer is often trying to, to drive, uh, and here are the, the items that we see sales managers and sales operations executives trying to drive. And so again, what we do is we identify these key behaviors and then build a, uh, a competition or contest around these activities in order to uh, drive those behaviors to happen more often. So what, we, what ePrize has done is we've built an application, a native application for Salesforce.com called Sales Contest Builder. And what this does, it makes it very easy for a sales manager to build their own uh, uh, internal sales competition by going through a wizard process to identify the time frame in which the contest will happen, to identify the specific behaviors that they would like to motivate, um, who would be included, and how they're going to keep uh, everybody updated. The system automatically builds a high-impact leaderboard, uh, complete with uh, stats and graphs about uh, individual performance in order to get people engaged, and then also automatically keeps people updated via email and chatter, saving significant administrative time from the manager um, from pulling reports and emailing them out to the team on their own. We've received excellent client feedback. Uh, most exciting is improvements in adoption. Um, better data quality for folks and also in creating coaching moments for sales managers as salespeople want to know, you know, why aren't I on that leaderboard or what can I do to climb up it? And people become much more motivated as you layer on uh, contests and the chance to win. So thanks a lot. If you have any questions about this or would like to explore further, you can certainly contact me uh, via the information here. You can learn more at salescontestbuilder.com or by finding us in the Salesforce App Exchange. Thanks.